the Net Zero Game 2050. Carbon emissions are making the Earth heat up. You, one of four business leaders, Alice, Bud, Charlie, and Dolph, are given the responsibility to create a carbon emission-free economy by the year 2050. You will do this by building a sustainable and carbon-neutral portfolio of companies. Each company operates in one of four industry sectors. Resource, distribution, production, or consumer. The companies also form part of one to four global value chains. Consumer electronics, construction, food, and aerospace. Each company card shows the name of the company, the industry sector it belongs to, and which value chains it is part of. Grid and pipeline is not part of the red consumer electronics value chain, but it is part of the construction, the food, and the aerospace value chains. At the beginning of the game, the value of the company is this. The present monetary value of the company is indicated by money coins. The initial carbon emissions from the company, the so-called Scope 1 and Scope 2 carbon emissions, are shown here. The present carbon emissions are indicated by carbon coins. As the game progresses, both company value and carbon emissions can increase and decrease, creating a true bottom line. The card also indicates the potential standalone value increase and the potential value increase downstream and upstream. The potential downstream and upstream synergies are explained by a better coordination of Scope 3 carbon emissions from the companies. All synergies are considered per individual company card. One company portfolio may look like this. A distribution company, grid and pipeline, a company in the resource sector, sand and metal, a company in the consumer sector, smartphone, and a company in the production center, chemicals. In this game, it is possible to create circular value chains. However, companies whose activities are based on the use of non-renewable resources cannot form part of circular value chains. Sand and metal is, via the yellow construction's value chain, connected downstream to grid and pipeline. As sand and metal bases its business on non-renewable resources, it cannot connect to any company upstream. Grid and pipeline is connected downstream with chemicals via the aerospace, the food, and the construction value chains. In this game, there are no extra synergies from having more than one value chain in common. Upstream, grid and pipeline connects to sand and metal via the aerospace and the construction value chains. Chemicals is connected downstream with smartphone via the electronics value chain. Chemicals are used in all value chains and connect to grid and pipeline via the construction, the food, and the aerospace value chains. Smartphone is connected upstream with chemicals via the electronics value chain, but not connected downstream with sand and metal due to the non-circular nature of the mining industry. You will react to carbon events from real-life events related to markets, politics, and technology. The carbon events drive the game forward. They affect the company values, negatively, not at all, positively, or positively via synergies. A carbon event also affects carbon emissions. The carbon emissions either increase, are unaffected, or decrease. Carbon events affect companies, value chains, industry sectors, and company portfolios. Each card describes one or two possible carbon events. All carbon events are based on reliable sources. 
The exact references can be found on the netzerogame.com website. You will hire and deploy green management teams, consisting of the Green Risk Officer, or GRO. The GRO has the power to change one carbon event to another. However, other GROs may also interfere. The Green Sustainability Officer, or GSO. The GSO has the ability to reduce the carbon emissions of a company. However, other GSOs may take over the carbon reduction. The Green Executive Officer, or GEO. The GEO is the joker of the game. Apart from being able to act as an interim manager for the GSO and the GRO, the GEO has the unique ability to launch hostile takeovers of companies. This is one of the five ways that the business leader can manage a company portfolio. You can also buy a company from the bank, trade or buy with other business leaders, or simply close a company down. The GEO also has the ability to counter other GEOs, GSOs, and GROs. All available team cards can be hired from the HR pool with a minimum sign-on fee of one monetary unit. During the game, the sign-on fee is determined by auction and may therefore increase. You will create value by owning, buying, and selling companies, by decarbonizing your companies with the help of your team, and by making tactical and strategic decisions related to your company portfolio. Each business leader receives four company cards, three team cards from the HR pool, and 15 monetary units. Each business leader selects at least three companies for their portfolio. The monetary value of each company is indicated by money coins. The less money in the money bank, the bigger the size of the total economy, and thus the more prosperous the society is. The carbon emissions are indicated by carbon coins. The more carbon stored in the carbon bank, the less climate change. Each business leader may hire up to three team cards from the cards dealt to them. The sign-on fee per team member is one monetary unit, which is paid to the money bank. The team cards are kept concealed. All remaining money coins, if any, are distributed to the companies. Organize the companies in value chains to achieve potential synergies and reduce scope 3 carbon emissions. The business leaders decide that the first business leader that creates a company portfolio with zero carbon emissions wins the game and becomes the net zero hero. There are six different game modes. The players decide for game mode 2. Now you are ready to play the Net Zero Game 2050. Alice becomes the business leader in turn and starts the game by picking a carbon event card. Alice places the card so that everybody can see it. Alice analyzes her company portfolio. Two of her companies are not affected by either of the carbon events. Smartphone and Grid and Pipeline. Chemicals will receive two monetary units in standalone value increase. Chemicals has synergy downstream with smartphone via the electronics value chain. For this synergy, chemicals will receive one monetary unit. Chemicals has synergy upstream with grid and pipeline via the construction, food, and aerospace value chains. For these synergies, chemicals will receive one monetary unit. Chemicals will receive in total four monetary units for synergy. The carbon event has no impact in carbon emissions. For the standalone value, sand and metal will receive one monetary unit. Sand and metal is not circular, so there is no synergy upstream and no value increase. Downstream, sand and metal has synergy with grid and pipeline via the aerospace and construction value chains. For these synergies, sand and metal will receive one monetary unit.
Sand and Metal will receive in total two monetary units for Synergy. The carbon event has an impact in carbon emissions. So Sand and Metal will reduce one carbon coin. Bud does not own any affected companies, so he decides not to interfere. Charlie is in the same situation, and he decides not to interfere. Dolph looks at his company portfolio. Three of his companies are not affected by either of the carbon events. Packaging, software, and dwellings. Recycling will receive for the standalone value zero monetary units. Recycling has synergy upstream with dwellings via the construction value chain. For this synergy, recycling will receive three monetary units. Downstream, recycling has no synergy and no monetary units to receive. Recycling will receive, in total, three monetary units for synergy. The carbon event has no impact in carbon emissions, so recycling will have no change in carbon emissions. Road transport is owned by the bank, not operational, and therefore not affected by the carbon event. Alice chooses option B. Dolph, however, counters by playing a GRO and thereby changes the chosen carbon event to option A. Alice then counters with a GRO and changes to option B. Dolph then plays a GEO, acting as a GRO, and changes back to option A. No other business leaders intervene, and option A is chosen. Recycling increases its value by three monetary units. Receive the value in money coins from the bank. No change in carbon emissions for recycling. All played team cards retire to the HR pool. A used carbon event card retires. Alice considers buying road transport via bank auction, but decides not to. Alice decides to play a GEO to take over recycling from Dolph. No other business leader can counter the attempt, as the two other available GEOs are already in the HR pool. Alice pays eight monetary units to Dolph in cash and takes over the company with its present value in carbon emissions. Dolph distributes the value to the remaining companies in his portfolio. The played GEO retires to the HR pool. Alice wants to decarbonize the most carbon emission intensive company in her portfolio, chemicals, and plays a GSO. Bud wants to decarbonize shipping and takes over the carbon reduction by playing a GSO. Charlie counters with the GSO with the purpose of reducing emissions from oil and gas. As all GEOs and GSOs have been either play or are in the HR pool, no other business leaders can intervene. Charlie gets the right to decarbonize and moves one carbon coin from oil and gas to the carbon bank. All the played GSOs retire to the HR pool. Alice picks two GEOs and one GRO from the HR pool for auction and bids three monetary units. Dolph bids four. Bud joins the auction by placing a bid of five. Alice counters with six and Charlie bids seven. Dolph raises his bid to eight. No other business leader places a bid, so Dolph wins the auction and pays eight monetary units to the bank. Dolph keeps his new team cards concealed from the other business leaders. Alice reorganizes her portfolio by replacing sand and metal with recycling. This creates potential downstream synergy. Alice reallocates value between companies. Bud realizes that even though shipping is downstream connected to aircraft, the total synergies for shipping compared to data and wireless are the same, so there is no net gain in synergies by restructuring. Charlie and Dolph both make a mental note that they need to buy some companies to create more complete value chains. Their present company portfolios do not create any synergies at all. This ends Alice's turn. Bud becomes the next business leader in turn, and he consults the executive brief on the back of the rule book as he prepares to start the next turn. 
As Alice did in the previous round, Bud also starts by picking up a carbon event card and reacting to it. Then he decides if he wants to buy or sell a company or optimize his portfolio in other ways. He then decides if he wants to reduce his carbon emissions and if he wants to hire new team members. And finally, if needed, he restructures his portfolio and reallocates resources. All business leaders are allowed to do that. As the game progresses, the carbon emissions and the portfolio value changes for each business leader. When the winner criterion is met, in this case, when one of the company portfolios has reached net zero emissions, the game is over. And the winner, in this case Alice, becomes today's net zero hero. The Net Zero Game 2050. The Business Climate Board Game.